Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we understand our question. The program has to accept the integer m and it has to accept the integer array array 1 of size m and then the integer n and then the integer array array 2 of size n so now after getting the two arrays we have to form a square matrix and print it as our output so we'll take our first test case so in this test case we have this is array 1 and this is array 2 so in order to form a square matrix first we must concatenate them so when we concatenate we will have elements like this that is the total elements is 5 plus 4 it is 9 so now we we are going to form a square matrix with these nine elements so for that the size of matrix that is square root of 9 so the square root of 9 is 3 so we have to find three numbers from the matrix and print them accordingly so we'll get a 3 cross 3 matrix like this so this will be our output now we'll take our another test case so here this is array 1 and then this is array 2 so we'll concatenate them first so totally we have 16 elements in this so the size is m plus n and it is 7 plus 9 it is 16 so the size of the matrix is the square root of 16 which is 4 and we are going to get a 4 cross 4 matrix with these elements like this 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 so this will be the output so the logic is simple it is we have to define a function in c which has these integers array as parameter and we have to return the double pointer to the matrix which is formed now let's see how to solve this program first we have the integer m and n 
and then we are getting the integer m and then the array 1 of integer elements and then they are getting n and then array 2 integer elements and then they are declaring the double pointer new matrix where the get matrix from arrays function will be passed with the parameters m n array 1 array 2 and then they print the matrix that is the new matrix so now our task is to define this function get matrix from arrays that is to form the square matrix so in order to form the square matrix we need to define the size so the size will be equal to the square root of the size of m plus n that is the size of array 1 and array 2 and we'll get the square root of it to get the size of the square matrix and then we are going to allocate memory using malloc function for the matrix so now after this we are going to allocate memory for each row in that matrix so for int row equal to 0 row less than size row plus plus and inside the loop we we'll have the matrix of row equal to ml of or size of int into size and after allocating the memory now we are going to convert this array 1 and array 2 to the matrix so this is the insertion point so here we have x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 initially and now we'll iterate for array 1 so int index equal to 0 index less than n sorry m and index plus plus and inside the loop we'll have the matrix of x y equal to array 1 of index and then we'll increment y by 1 and if the y is equal to equal to size that is when the column reaches its size the x will be incremented and y is equal to 0 so y is equal to 0 because it again reaches to the first column 0 so similarly we will have it for the array 2 which is of size n and it will have the same process that is first we have matrix of x y equal to array 2 of index and then y will be incremented by 1 and if y is equal to equal to size then x will be incremented by 1 and again y becomes 0 to go to the first column and then finally we'll return the matrix